Wow. Um, I've been trying to create some content this weekend and around Microsoft Loop, and it looks like things are lighting up within the mobile and tablet experience. Uh, now, we are expecting Microsoft Loop uh, to start appearing in Teams chat um, this week. So this is mid-November at the time of recording. And yeah, I was just surprised to see it. Um, look, I mentioned it in my previous video that it's going to be a rapid ride as, as things have been released. Um, so stay in the... L no, 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 I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Um, subscribe to keep up with uh, the latest of what's new within Microsoft Loop. And um, you know, hit that notification bell if you want to see when those videos drop. I'm also going to drop some um, other resources and links in the description. So anyway, um, look, I can create and participate in loops from my mobile. And I'm using a, an iPhone and an iPad. I'm going to take us through the iPad experience first, um, and then we'll, we'll get into it. I've uh, created a, a new conversation with a, a couple of uh, people from work, and I want to try and use it to, to coordinate daily tasks. Um, and so within this conversation, I want to be able to create a quick task list that we can just create and work on uh, throughout the day. So while I'm in loop, um, I've tapped into the text box and tapping the plus sign, I can add a loop. Now at the moment it's called components, um, but we expect to see the icon change to a loop icon. I've got a few choices of types of components that I can use uh, to start with. I expect this list to grow as well. And um, so let's create a, a task list. Okay, so this opens up in a, a new loop window, and this is in draft at the stage. You can see a little purple bar going along as it starts to synchronize. And uh, you can also see the permissions just below the live task list draft icon. I could tap that, and I can see the uh, permissions there for sharing it. But if we go back, the first thing you want to do is give this a, a, um, a title, because much like when we create documents, if we don't give this a title, it's going to be harder to find later. And it's good to do this right at the start. So I'm going to create this as a daily task check-in. You can send the, the loop now uh, so that it's available for people in the chat, or you can just add one or two items to get things started. But I, I want to try and send it now so that we can start adding these tasks together. Okay, so here's my conversation. What I have noticed at the moment is that sometimes the, the loop doesn't appear in the chat, um, especially if I'm just pausing and talking about it. So we'll just swap between conversations and come back here. And there it is. It's embedded in the chat. Now, the, the next step here, we can see that uh, Laura and Matt are in this, uh, this chat. Um, so I'm going to tap to open the loop. And you just tap on the list. And it will open now in that new window. And it gives you that fuller list and experience of being able to work within the loop. I'll add my first task. So that'll be create demo video for senior leadership team. And tap into the next one. Now the idea here is that if you've got the the, the list open and you've got Matt and Laura and whoever else is in the chat, just encourage them to start adding their tasks uh, and just list them out there. We'll come back and talk about them later. So I'm just going to swap over now and create a couple of tasks from Matt and Laura. Now I can tap some. I can tap below the list and add some text to give this task list a bit of content, maybe a paragraph or, or so. Um, so this is uh, just some way of getting text in there. You'll notice there's a loop toolbar at the bottom of the window, and so these offer up uh, different buttons that we'll take a look at now uh, to be able to quickly format or to add more components to the page. You can also trigger the content from uh, from typing just by putting a forward slash. Um, so this uh, will open up the, the add button and you can then begin to type something like date. And then uh, if you were to enter that, then you're going to get that component. It's a quick way to do that too. I'll just choose a date while I'm at it. 
So a number of these buttons that have characters on them, like the at symbol, of course, we could type that, but I will tap the uh, at symbol button to be able to mention one of the people within the chat. So I'm going to say uh, Matt today. And as I'm choosing Matt, Matt, of course, is going to, to see a notification and also see his name in a, in a bolder, different color so he knows that I'm talking about him. I'm going to tap that cursor beside the text again so we get the toolbar back. The other button that we have is a comment button. So that's a bubble with a, uh, a plus sign. At the moment, it just adds some text there, italicized with my name, and I can type a comment. Uh, this is urgent. It's not too smart in terms of comments uh, because it is adding just text to the page. It's not like it's adding a, a list of associated comments or highlighting and commenting it much like we can within an Office document. So I hope that this will develop um, more, more so. We've got all our typical buttons there about uh, rich formatting, so I could bold, a, um, bold and italicize certain things. I could um, indent that that particular line just to maybe start to create a list. And there's a couple of buttons there too that while we are perhaps working from our mobiles or tapping the screen, it's quite convenient to be able to undo and redo. If we use the delete button, this is uh, just to delete the component. And this is the current component where I have my cursor. It's not going to delete the whole page, um, the whole loop page. It'll just delete that particular component. I can just redo that and bring that back. Um, note too that there are more buttons. So slide that toolbar along and you'll see some of those additional formatting buttons. Um, so this will allow me to, if I create a new line, I can create a text, uh, sorry, a checklist, task one, task two. So much like uh, what we have above there in the table, uh, numbered and bulleted. And also if I wanted to um, link through to something, I can tap that link button and I can add a simple hyperlink. Now at the moment, I'd have to have the address to what I want to hyperlink to, but maybe we'll see eventually the ability to add documents, files from our OneDrives and from SharePoint to be able to share into the um, into the loop and re reference it from there. Now the loop continues to remain in sync with everyone in the chat and Laura has joined from the uh, web browser in Microsoft Teams and so she's seen that in chat and she has access to a few other loops so what she can do is uh, a forward slash and she can add an agenda. So that's one that we don't see yet on mobile and on the tablet, but uh, we expect to see them eventually in the list. The other one that she can do um, is uh, be able to forward slash and add an image, which you can't see yet, but if I go through and add a image to the loop component, then you can see it's come on through, and she can do that from, from her experience of the loop component and I can see it and engage with it and, and see that there. I do hope that uh, eventually and very soon we would be able to do that from our mobiles uh, as we might need to create uh, or add images from our phone and take a picture of something relevant to the discussion and collaboration. What I'll do quickly now is just swap over to my mobile and show you the same experience uh, from that smaller screen. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're in that same chat now and we can see the, the loop is just down there at the bottom of the screen. If I tap into the loop, it opens up a, another page and you can see the same content there. Uh, it's all up to date and all in sync, even just that last picture that was added there too. Add it just above the picture. This is some text. And uh, just like with the, uh, the tablet experience, I can tap that plus button. I can see the other loop types of components that I can add there, like a date as well. Um, and I like that date as it adds there. It's got five days left, um, so that's pretty cool too. So that's a quick look at um, the experience on mobile and tablet. As I said, it's rapidly happening. Uh, things are... Uh, updating very quickly in, in the experience here with Microsoft Loop. That's all I have. I'm really excited to see how quickly things are moving with Microsoft Loop. The rollout of Loop, beginning with these uh, Loop components in Teams Chat, is a good way to help uh, people along that adoption path. It's a simple thing to start to get used to using so that when the fuller experience of Loop arrives, then they'll be more familiar with how to use it. 
It's happening within a common place where we do like to get work done within a conversation. So it's not a unusual experience. Just adding this uh, ability to be able to add um, collaborative experiences within chat will, will definitely help us along that user journey of understanding how to use Microsoft Loop. So do remember to uh, subscribe and, and also check that description for those additional Microsoft Loop resources and adoption guidance as I create it. Um, anyway, you know where to find me and you know what to do. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.